Poaching is a serious problem in Africa, but stakeholders in the continent's wildlife, such as landowners in South Africa, will go to great lengths and expense to protect species, primarily via anti-poaching patrols. So the team had a great time here at the Moroi Conservancy, and as you can see, they had a lot of great success. But that's only half the story. The other half is this. This is a break in the fence. It's the border of South Africa and Zimbabwe, and it represents a huge problem in this country. The poaching menace takes many forms. It's everything from simple snares, all the way to rhino poaching for their horns and elephant poaching for their ivory, and everything in between. What a lot of people don't realize is that smugglers, and these smugglers come through these breaks and these fences, often cart illegal cigarettes across the border. Why does that matter? Well, because many times the smugglers and the poachers are exactly the same people. We feel compelled to do our part. And what we wanted to do was bring with us something that'll help in this battle. This is the EOTech handheld thermal imager, and it provides great capability for the anti-poaching units in this area. Unfortunately, uh, these gentlemen, as brave as they are, are not funded in any way and don't have a lot of gear. So providing them with some high-tech gear like this to be able to detect poachers at a long distance, even when those poachers may think that they're hiding, will be a great benefit to their job. Isaac, 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 come in for base camp. Thank you, Isaac. Uh, Isaac, uh, Bisco camp radioed me. They can see some lights in the bush. Uh, they suspect some poaching going on there. All right, uh, we'll go check it out. Yeah, please get the whole team and follow up. I spotted them on the handheld thermal imagers. Uh, they asked us to move back in case the uh, poachers have any kind of weapons. Okay. Alright, they're moving in. They're moving in. They got him. They got him down right now. Isak, thanks for letting us come out here. This was really uh, an eye-opener for me. I've never seen anything like this. So, you got these guys. What are you going to do? What's the normal procedure after this? Uh, from now on, we, we call the SAPS, the South African Police Service, um, and they come. We should just protect the scene, uh, make sure that no one contaminates the scene, and then all the evidence that we find on these guys, they can use it to prosecute them. So this is like a real crime scene? Yes, no, of course. This oh. is this is considered serious crime in South Africa, poaching. What's the uh, penalty? What do they do? Uh, normally they just get away with a fine, mm -hmm. which is actually, it's not nice, but uh, we need to do what we need to do. Uh, some of them, the rhino poachers, will get up to five years. But ah. that's, that's that's the maximum, maximum sentence they get. Should be 50 years. Yeah, it should be more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good job. No, thank you very much.